Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel, Twisted Paper Studio. How are you? I hope that you are all well. Thank you for joining me today. I hope everyone had a nice 4th of July. I did have a very relaxing one. Uh, I was just with, uh, well, Lucas was with his dad and, and his um, other family. So I was with my son um, and Ciro and his, um, and my daughter-in-law, Janelle and see was mommy okay so let's just get dive right into things today shall we i'm just i'm going to do uh some collaging that's what i'm gonna do i just want to see what i have here and we'll just start with some of the papers that i had on my desk so um first i'm going to cut this down because i think i'm going to make a I think I'm going to make a tall skinny journal. I hope everyone is well. I think I'll do this at four and a quarter. Four and a quarter. Uh, I'll do it at four and a half. I forget. I forget if I do it at four and a half and four and a quarter. So we'll just do it at four and a half first. I'm pretty sure it's four and a half. Yeah, that seems about right. And I could use these and um, make them I, the things that I like to make on them for future for future project. So we'll just go ahead. I'm just getting a blue paper here. Start gluing. I use Prit Stick for anybody who's new for my collaging. I'm gonna open this up and just start. I am going to collage the base of it with paper. We're having a, a storm here right now. However, it's like weird. There's no rain. Well, it's kind of, I guess, I guess it's like a lightning storm. <laughs> There's no rain. This, the lightning is popping in the background and then I was on the phone with my youngest son and he, oops, he heard the lightning strike while I was on the phone with him. It, it scared me. And then he heard it here and then he, and then he heard it at home right after that. <laughs> Cause we don't live that far apart from each other. Um, this is in my uh, mid medieval um, papers kit that I just released during the 100 Day Craft Project. It is a music sheet um, from an older time. Just wondering how I want this on here. Possibly down here. Yeah. I'll cut that off afterwards. I, I am going to be covering this, so I'm not um, I'm not really concerned about the collage itself as much as I am just what's underneath it. And I am only meeting the line. Oh, I wanted to go up higher. I think. Did I go all the way down? Yes. I am only meeting the line in the center here. Um, where it folds. I'm meeting the paper right next to it. Mm. 
that could go there. It's still in the same <clears throat> color color scheme that I was using before. Still going with that. Muted gold, pretty tones. <clears throat> Acru, soft whites, creams, ivories. I'm kind of not giving it much thought about, I'm just covering the pages because I, like I said, I'm going to cover over this and I just want to get this covered because I don't want it to be the plain um, file folder. I might want to say, I don't, let's see, if I gave this a straight edge, and save that for somewhere else, possibly, <laughs> possibly. All right, let me see where else I could possibly use that. How about we use some rag paper? Sorry for reaching the camera. wondering if I want to cover that or hmm I don't know if I want anything showing so hold on I may just cover it cover it up this way yeah I don't I think if I did it this way I would have a little of the file folder showing and I don't I don't know that would be I don't think I want any file folder showing I think that would be the best move on my part just in case Hmm. Hmm. Well, that has that deer over there, so I don't know. Maybe this side. Maybe this side could cover the whole thing up. No, just tear it out like that. Let's see what it does. Now, of course, it covers up some of that, but that's okay. Um, maybe I might go back just a little bit and I'll take this piece off over here. glue that up now. Today's been like a lazy day. Well, I'm doing things today, small amounts of things. I cleaned and things like that, but I've kind of rested for the day. It was a restful day. I deserve one restful day. <laughs> I 
We all deserve a restful day. Okay. So I liked that this already has the collage to it, you know, so so I didn't have to collage so much because it's already really collaged on there for me. So I did that work well in advance <laughs> in a digital. That's in the Merry Monday kit, in case you're new. The new one that was just come out. I like that. I like that. And of course... Should I do the inside? Should I leave the inside? Hmm, hmm, hmm. I wonder. Maybe I should do the inside. Let's do it. Let me put this. Maybe put this over here, the whole thing. <coughs> Excuse me. Now it's going to cover into this crease here. And, um,. I've, I've said it before, but I will repeat for those that are new. When you're doing something in the crease, it should either just be at the crease, just at the crease, or it should be well over the crease. This way, when you glue it down and you fold it, the pieces doesn't have, if it's glued down over here, it doesn't have the probable chance of lifting. If it's in the crease just a tiny bit and you pull it over, it's going to start to peel up and lift from the from the glue. I'll possibly we'll go this way with it. So we'll do that. That's what we'll do. And I'm just going to snap like that. And I might have a little hanging over. And that's okay. I can clean it up after. If it really bothered me. I don't know if it's going to bother me. I'm not even sure. I'm not sure. Might just get all mended in with what I'm going to do on top. It's very, very hot outside. And, oh. Um, prayers to those that are in Texas. Uh, there's, well, upcoming prayers of safety because I know I don't have the television that shows, you know, the news daily, but I have seen that there's going to be like a hurricane coming. I have to call on my friend down there, Miss Deborah, to see that her family is not in the way, and I hope that no one else is either. And if it does hit, I hope it goes quickly and doesn't cause damage. So now is the time, isn't it? Storms and things like that. Okay. I will wait, but um, I usually take my card or something to get that crease in there. But I am going to wait to fold it until after I'm done for it to dry. Maybe a piece of gold. I keep wanting to do that, so possibly we can do this down here. And when I have an odd piece like this, I'll just use it because um, I'll give myself a straight edge and then the rest I'll cover. If I give myself the straight edge over here, the rest I can cover with collage, so this part is showing, if you understand what I mean. <clears throat> Go ahead and do that and give it some gold. Now there is some sticking out over here. I'll just cut it off afterwards. Not a big deal to me. I went four and a half, so if I have to trim a slim line, I can. It will be okay. Um, Hmm. 
And that could be, be a possibility to put that somewhere. We'll see. Let me take a look to see what else I have. I don't know that I want to put this color in here because I've, well, I guess I could. I did use some of it on the front, some kind types of pieces, so I'll just go ahead and do that then. And I really like this, the ripped, so I'm just going to rip it by hand so it, so it has that ripped edge because this is more straight. And this is just a copy. If it were a real ledger paper, I probably would keep the straight edge, but it's a copy. So just do it that way. Might need a new glue stick soon. Okay. I think I might like that there. Just try to get it cohesive with the other rip side. And I am going to leave that little edge there because I like the look of the book. It's got the raggedy book edge there. So we'll just put that there. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Right. Let's see if we can get anything out of here. Have no more glue left in there. You see how much is sticking out over the edge over here. That's okay, because <clears throat> we can just trim it off. Possibly we'll put this over here. I think we could if I go down just a little bit. And I'll just rip over here. So if you take a file folder and collage the front and the back, you can achieve the same effect. And you could leave this like this and not do anything more to just have your collaged you know, start of your paper, um, paper feel type cover and inside. <clears throat> I'm just gonna scoop this out of here and get some more glue. It's really not the best thing to do because <laughs> the glue gets everywhere but rather than throw it away with some more glue in there.
<laughs> How do I do that? Oh, this way. Okay. <clears throat> Let's take a look at how this came out now. Uh, I need to get glue in there, so let's see if we can't get a little bit without getting anything else dirty. <laughs> we'll try. And dirty, I mean, as in gluey. Okay, it's a little gluey on the inside. And I'm gonna just take my card and form that crease in the paper that's already there. If you don't do this, you'll more along the lines of get bubbling. <clears throat> See, I shouldn't, should have gotten a new glue stick. I will in a moment, but learn from my mistakes. If you don't, if you do that, it doesn't always get everywhere from your card when you're doing it like that. That's okay, we'll use some Fabri-Tac glue. That's what I have in this bottle. <clears throat> okay, so I did that with the card and I'm just gonna grab a bone folder and I'm gonna do it again. The bone folder, just pressing and folding up as I go. I do not want the folds to get a bubble. And look at that. This is okay. This is part of the part of the process. You'll get the the glue is still wet. The paper's wet. The paper's old. The book is from the 1800s. My hands are now gluey. Here comes the rain. I can hear it outside. So Okay. So I'm going to fold this over. I'm going to take my bone folder and fold it down that way, fold it down that way, come back and forth and make that crease groove and they're good. And because I pressed it all down and made sure that I did that, I'm not getting really any bubbles in there. So just remember to make sure that it's really glued tight because if you don't glue it tight, on the, you know, if you miss some gluing and then you go to fold it, you're gonna get bubbling in there wherever it's not glued down on the paper. Okay. I'm gonna go ahead and clean up the edges. And I'll be able to do that by choosing the same, um, the same uh, width I chose before, which was the four and a half, and it's gonna clean it up for me. making sure and it did okay so I'm gonna move all this stuff out of the way over here because I have my basket over here so I'm just one moment Now, the next step is, you know, we have those pieces there that um, I stamped. And we could, I mean, I have some extra pieces, stuff that I was playing around with. And I think somehow I want to try to incorporate them into this piece. <clears throat> and I, I need to pick out a signature, so you may do that uh, tomorrow. And I do want to try to, um, I don't know what I have here, but I do want to try to maybe pick out some fabric, possibly. I don't know, we'll see, it was my plan. Um, and along with fabric also, some lace because it was my reasoning for doing this to begin with. Um, the it was my reasoning to 
put the collage on it to cover it with some lacy type things. And I'm just looking. I don't I don't really know what I want. Um, I don't know if I want all lace or I want some plain fabric. And I don't want to cover up the deer too with them. well, it kind of doesn't matter. Or maybe some fabric along here. Possibly. I don't know, I just, I like this color scheme and I thought how quaint would it be to create a journal, type of journal with it. Possibly I like that on the spine. And then just maybe some dribs and drabs of lace. I may not even get what I want today. I'm pulling out laces that I really don't want, so I'm sorry. I, want, I wanted something more along the lines. Oh, well, I like this one. <clears throat> I was pulling out more rounder pieces and that's not really what I wanted. Maybe, maybe just a line of that on here. All right, let's do that. Let me take a piece of this off. Oh wow, that's the exact fit. <clears throat> Oops, sorry. Right, let's see what I get when I rip into this. Um, I hope this goes straight. Now see that there was some ridges here, but that's okay. If you don't really don't want any of that in your paper, you just, you don't fold it until the next day. Wait a whole day. I kind of like this a lot. I do. I do. I'm wondering if I just put this on and, well, you know what? Possibly I will not um, put this on now. Um, and I'll tell you why. Because of the fact that I need to pick out a signature first. And my signature, I'm gonna stick it in with, um, excuse me, with holes in here and then you're going to see the threading on the outside. So this will cover the threading. So I think I'm gonna to wait to put this on. I think I'm gonna say goodbye to you guys right now so you can work along maybe and collage your journal for tomorrow and pick out your signature. I'll have to do that. Um, I think I'll have to print some pages because I don't, I don't really know what I have here. It might take me quite a bit to find pages and I know I want to use some digitals. I do have some digitals here that I didn't use and maybe some real pages and I don't have, I wasn't prepared. I don't have anything printed on the back. I would have to do that um, for tomorrow's video. So I'll go ahead and wait to do that for tomorrow's video. Tomorrow we will put in our signature and we'll decorate this a little bit on more on what I would do. Um, as far as possibly using some of the pieces that we created this past week. Um, I don't know what pieces I would use. I could, I could really use anything, right? I kind of could. I don't need this on here. I could cut this straight up. And then I kind of don't need this here. I could cut this straight across. So I will just see 
what I want to do for my journal. And I will come back and see you guys tomorrow. All right. Well, beautiful blessings to you. And then also, I did want to show you I had... I did this for 4th of July in case you didn't see it. It was really cute. Um, I just put some lines on here from a, a, a stamp in the cream color then I stamped in stars in white I collaged a piece of um, ledger paper and happy 4th of July from Twisted Paper Studio <laughs> so made a little 4th of July um, type of a a gold with the creams and colors like that and the colors that we've been working in okay well, blessings to you guys, and I'll see you guys again tomorrow. Thank you so much for um, visiting. If you're new to my channel, um, welcome. And then also, make sure you subscribe so you can see when I post new videos. Um, this is something new I'm trying out right now as a little series here on my channel. And then also, make sure you like the video, comment, and engage so that um, I can keep coming on here to YouTube and making more content. Okay, bye for now, my crafting buddies.